Rocket Game Corner, the playground for grown-ups. Well, I think that's a place a 10-year-old should enter. Hey, welcome back to Pokemon Yellow. Last time, we got a gym badge. Uh, we took Germa out of the party. I'm sure that was sad. And this time, we're going to talk to a guy in front of a poster. Well, I mean, the fact that you were guarding a poster was suspicious enough. But then it's also the only poster in, like, the entire Kanto region. So, like, you kind of deserve to get, uh, to get looked at funny here. Ah, Jolteon. One-shotting just about everything. Oh, it is definitely one-shotting this Zubat. You are not surviving, you poor thing. Absolutely hilarious that you thought you could try. Alright, we beat a rocket. Dang. Our hideout might be discovered. Where, where did he go? He didn't... He didn't activate the secret switch. Whoa! A secret staircase? To a crime syndicate's underground lair? Hello? Adults? Would you like to do anything about this? Any of you? No? You're... You're gonna make the kids solve it? Oh. Okay. Uh, such is life. Hey there, Rocket Man. Alright. What do you got? Hey, I had one of those once. It was a long time ago. Not really a long time ago, actually. It was a pretty close to time ago. Wow, you actually lived. Well, get body slammed. Wow, nice crit. Good job. Oh, that's right, you're fast. And fast means you crit a lot in this generation. Alright. Um. Yeah, sure, we'll just keep using Killua. We'll just keep using Killua until the game decides that, um, you don't need Killua anymore. Hmm. Nothing wrong with that. There are plenty of rockets in this underground fortress. Because, I don't know, it's, it's kind of their base. Yeah, I am not able to get through there yet. But that's fine. Uh, yeah, nope. Nothing down there. And then another goon over here. I mean, you left a single dude to stand in front of the poster that could very easily lead to your underground fortress hideout place. Like, you kind of deserve what's coming to you. Also, you're guarding your mafia with a rat. Like, what? What do you think's going to happen? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're guarding your underground crime syndicate with two rats. There are two of them. That, that's on me. You are doing more than just a rat. Alright, well, let's go down here. Yeah, an item. Alright, what's this item? Ooh, an escape rope! Alright. I can use that to hang myself next time a Clefairy puts me to sleep for 17 turns. Now, if I remember correctly... Yeah. Hey, Buckaroo. Wow, what a completely out-of-nowhere comment that will surely not mean anything to future events. Oh my god, he has four Pokemon. Or five. Wow, I can't even count. But they're ten levels lower... So I don't even think I need to Thunderbolt them. Well, maybe I do. That was just a crit, but... I can't imagine... Yeah, I can't imagine this coughing. Okay, well, maybe coughing specifically can survive a hit. Wow, holy shit, can it? Well, congratulations, coughing. You survived. But at what cost? 
Grimer. Have we seen a Grimer yet? Yeah, no, we've seen a Grimer. Well, we've seen a dead Grimer before, too, and uh, that trend is going to continue. Well done. Hey, level up. I guess Killua can be taken out of the active party for now. Uh, let's... let's give... Let's give Dr. Pig some time to shine. Monkey. And just a bit of a Karate Chop. Chopping the Bat. Why the fuck isn't Karate Chop a fighting move in this generation? What sense does that make? Seriously, I, I want to know. Alright, well, low kick. And it's dead. Goodbye, rat. I surrender. You think I will show you mercy? Let's put Dr. Pig in front for a level of two. Now, this thing's gimmick is very slow moving tiles. Yeah, if you've only played the Game Boy Advance versions of Gen 1, you will be very surprised to know that that's actually how fast it went back in Gen 1. Yeah, you had to sit there and slowly get moved. It gets much better and much more fun in Gen 3. And then I think in Gen 4, it slowed down again for Fugo Ironworks. Like, who knows what? What the fuck TM is that? Is that Takedown, I think? Horn Drill. Well, none of my Pokemon have a horn, but... Horn Drill is an instant kill move. Yeah, it just instantly kills. I, I know. The instant kill move instant kills. I what a groundbreaking revelation. But yeah, it's uh it's kinda dumb. Horn drill can easily be used to trivialize a lot of the game if you do some exploits. But we're not gonna do that. Instead, we're just gonna play the game. Now is this the right way? I'm pretty sure this is the right way. Why did you come here? Honestly, why did I? Plot-wise, like what? Am I a fucking cop? Going on an anti-mafia brigade? What reason did I actually have to come in here? Whatever. Kick him. And he's dead. Marvelous. Next up, a bigger rat. Oh, I'm sorry. You guys clearly mean business. Goodbye. Ooh, level 28. What a completely insignificant level for, um, Mankey. That will definitely not matter. And you quick attack me. A critical hit? What the fuck? That's not cool. Only I can critical hit. Alright, Dr. Pig. Another rat. Well, my monkey can definitely beat the shit out of rats. As soon as I say something, he misses. But that's fine. But that's fine. I, I, I had to wait a moment just to be sure. I was ready for it to go wrong again. I beat a rocket. Whoa, what? Level 28 was a significant level up for Mankey. Whoa! There he is. He's fast, and he's angry. Rage is terrible. We're not using rage. Alright, well, Dr. Pig is now really fast and really strong. Alright, Pepe, you'll take the stage. An item. Oh, that's not good. What was TM11? Oh, Bubble Beam? I want that one. A rare candy? Sure, get Trogdor closer to, um... Um... 
Charizard. Oh, hey, a dude! Well, I will beat the crap out of this dude. And his three Pokemon. Oh, a poison type? You're crazy. Absolutely crazy. Alright, what's next? Another coffin? Alright, well not another coffin, your first thing was a Grimer. Oh, regardless, you're, you're done. You're done, skis. Another coffin? Come on. Stop it. You ain't nothing. You ain't shit, boy. Just a bunch of coughing. Nothing in the face of Pepe. Oh, this room is just for that hyper potion? Huh. I thought there was more here. Alright, and I can't use the elevator. Until I get the lift key, and that was third floor. For some reason, I thought you had to go to the second floor maze, and then the third floor maze. No, it's the other way around. You have to go all the way down to the third floor first. And I have too many items in my inventory. Uh, but there are also way too many rockets here. Got word from upstairs. Alright, well, I'm glad you got word from them, because you certainly ain't getting help from them. Alright, a Machop. Cool, another Pokemon weak to Psychic. Pardon Pepe while he, uh, ruins your whole career. Level 28! Wow! Rocket is about to use my chop. Will I change Pokemon? No. Dead. And you're done. Alright! We defeated a rocket! And down here is just another way to the elevator, right? No, it's an item that I won't be able to hold. Alright, let me, um... What is this? Oh, Ice Beam. I, I, I want that TM for later. Um... Let me just toss that. I have Dig. I don't need an escape rope. What are you? TM10. Well, what's TM10? Double edge? That might actually be something worth holding on to. Alright. Who are you? Horn drill? I'm never going to use this. We don't use one hit KO moves. We use valid strategies. Like double team. I am so glad later Pokemon games did away with inventory management. It was such a cumbersome and dumb feature. Alright. Going to the left. Going to the down. Then, um... If I remember correctly, you want to go to the this one? Yeah, you want to go to the this one. And then... Fight a man. Stop meddling in Team Rocket's affairs? How about no? I will not do that. Ah, fucking rat. Well, prepare to get very confused about your existence. Alright, well, I'm glad you were confused. If you have any questions, I will not be answering them. An Eradicate will probably survive a confusion, which isn't the greatest, but, you know, whatever. Oh wow, it actually survived it by much less than I thought it would. Well, the only thing to do to it now is slap the shit out of it. Stop critting me! I don't like it. Alright, next up we have a Drowsy. Alright, well it's actually worth tra uh, bleh, switching for that one. I do not wish to look at that. I'm just gonna do it very quick. I think I just need to slash you. I don't think I need to use Dig. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Needle Mouse. 
I have defeated Rocket. Alright. Um... Yes, go in here. Yeah, this is where the bozo with the elevator key is. But first, an item. An HP up. Alright, cool. Um, who wants more HP? Probably Pepe. He strikes me as a Pokemon that can do good with it. Oh, hello there, clown. Oh, hey, and I... TM2? What the hell is TM? What's all these TMs? Oh, Ra Razor Wind. Razor Wind. It wants me to use Razor Wind. The elevator doesn't work. Who has the lift key? Golly, I wonder who it could be. Certainly not you. Alright, Pepe. You're just going to continue to just... Massacre. Everything in your path. And I'm here for it. Alright, another confusion. I'll uh, do the trick. Beautiful. Good work. Alright. Rocket defeated. Oh, hey. Wow. You had one fucking job, man. Hold on to the elevator key. And you flubbed it up. Alright, now what's this item? Oh, right, and I have to drop things. Right, those are the TMs that I want. Uh, um, I guess I'll just toss this hyper potion. What's this? For a rare candy. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's cool. I'll have to use it immediately on. I don't know. Um. Let's give Killua a free level. Why not? Cool. Alright, now let's go back through that, uh, that maze that we just did. But didn't have the correct key for. I'm actually gonna make you guys sit through that. The power of the spacebar Game Boy Advance. But yeah. That's a taste of how bad it used to be. Uh, kids these days don't know how slow our games were. Is there a secret over here? I don't remember. Yeah, there is. I don't know what it's what it is, but it's an item. Oh, a super potion. Well, super. Yeah, I got nothing about that. All right, let's go fight a mafia leader as a ten-year-old. All right. It is our natural, God-given duty as a child. To go defeat the Mafia. It is Basement 4 that I want to go to. Hey! Jesse and James again! Another little cool cameo appearance. And hey, guess what? We're still gonna kick their ass! Alright, coughing. Coughing. What the hell do you think you're gonna do? Something threatening? Alright. Hey, Pepe leveled up. Nice. Meowth? I have a newly evolved pig that I misclicked. Well. Uh. Whoops. I wanted to give Dr. Pig some screen time, but... Looks like that didn't quite pan out like I wanted. Alright, Pepe, get back in there. Alright. Where is... It's the Why did I think Confusion wasn't the first move in his lineup? Like, I didn't specifically set it that way. 
What's wrong with me? Don't answer that question. You see, this game is a very poor representation of the anime, because beating Jesse and James gives you money, and that implied that they have money to give you. Alright. Item! Iron! My clothes were looking a little wrinkly. Iron, that's best used on Needle Mouse. Speaking of Needle Mouse... Let's, uh... Let's get him in there, you know? Put him in, coach. Hello there, sir. Um, can I, uh, politely ask you to stop being evil? I don't know. Maybe look after your son? Hey, he misses you. Or, I think he actually kind of hates you. And, like, you kind of deserve it, but you can do better. Try to bind me, you stupid snake. Get the fuck out of my sight. Rhyhorn. Well, second verse. Oh my god, I might not be able to critical hit him. Oh my god, it didn't matter. Version! Let's, uh... Now let's get Dr. Pig in there. Actually, wait, is Dr. Pig... I think he's not going to outspeed, and then he's just going to die. Well. That was his introduction. Did, did you see it? Do you need me to go back? Play it again? Alright, look, there are many ways I can lose a video game, but getting but getting 1v6, or 6v1'd by a Persian, that is not the way I'm gonna go. I said, getting 1v6'd by a Persian is not the way I'm going to go. Thank you. Alright. I just beat the leader of a crime syndicate. And he's gone. I can see ghosts now. Uh, where is Needle Mouse? Let's just, uh... Let's just get the fuck out of here. Perfect. I don't remember it taking you back to a Pokemon Center. I thought it just took you out of the dungeon. But I guess the dungeon was the entire game corner. Gambling was the real villain. All along. Thank you, your Pokemon are in fighting fit. We hope to see- Yeah, let's clear out that inventory space, shall we? Bill's PC- Not Bill. Mine. Deposit. No, not the repels. We, we want those. Uh, TM. TM. Uh, we don't need the lift key anymore. Um, TM. Uh, TN. We will not be needing HM2 for a while. Um, we don't need that Moonstone. And, uh... We don't need that coin case for a while. Alright! Oh yeah! I almost forgot! The game corner has Pokemon we can get. I'm not going to get them because gambling in the game corner takes a long ass time? Like a really long time? And there are four new Pokemon over there. I'm only going to go over two of them. Because Scyther and Pinsir... Uh, I'm going to go over them in the Safari Zone. But there are two Pokemon unique to the game corner in yellow. And I'll be right back after we go over them. The Vulpix line is actually a pretty good line of fire types for this generation. 
You do have to pay the coins to get it, which can be annoying, but it's one of the cheaper mons, and your reward is a Pokemon that evolves through the Firestone, which you can buy in the very same city, and has access to the earliest you can get the move Flamethrower, which is, in my opinion, the best Fire-type move to have on your Pokemon. Vulpix gets it at 35, whereas every other Fire-type gets it, like, around level 50, so the earliest access to that is pretty damn solid. It's just a good special-type attacker. Good special, good speed, it doesn't really get anything other than Fire-type moves, but Lamau Gen 1 having a move pool. All in all, a solid Mon to go for. It might not be the best Fire-type, but it's still a very solid one, if you can get over the gambling to get it. Porygon is not worth it. At all. You need to pay 9,999 coins to get it, which, with no way to circumvent it, you have to do the gambling. You can buy tokens, but there isn't an easy way to make money in this game, because there's no amulet coin or VS Seeker to go beat the shit out of the rich. Your reward for all that gambling, all that luck, all that likely save manipulation, is a slow, mediocre special attacker. It gets Ice Beam and Thunderbolt, and Psychic, like it gets pretty good special coverage, but not the highest special stat to make use of it, and it's slow as fuck. Porygon gets much better once 2 and Z come into the equation in later generations, but for right now, eh, steer clear, it's not worth it. Hey, did you like that Pokemon review? Two of them that I'm not doing, I'm not gonna catch them. Man, because, like, this isn't like Gen 3's Game Corner, where I can go equip the Amulet Coin, beat the shit out of rich people, and take their money to fund my gambling. I, I have to actually gamble in this one. Which is not very cool, man. Not at all. Wait a minute! I almost forgot. Hold on. We gotta go fight a dude. Silly me, it's been so long doing this Let's Play. I completely forgot... We skipped a trainer way back here. Uh, we should go take care of that. God, silly me. I'm just so forgetful. Ah, uh, man. Like, look at this. All of these defeated trainers. And I went and forgot... One over here. How clumsy and forgetful of me. Ah. Uh, how do you guys put up with me? Like, really? How do you do it? Yeah. Almost forgot all about this guy! Alright. Now, his Pokémon isn't gonna be very strong. Because we've, like, yeah, it's a Slowpoke. From way back ago, like... A single slash should put him out of his misery. There we go. Hey, level up! Okay. Okay. Now that we have that taken care of, let's get to our actual objective, which is back in Lavender Town. So, we have to go to the tower. Wait a minute, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, I feel like going left for no reason. Whoa! What? What? Mew appeared? What the fuck? That is absurd. How could I have foreseen this? Yeah, we just did one of the most famous glitches in Pokemon history. The Mew Glitch, which, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know how it works exactly. Um, basically, when you go to a trainer that has to walk up to you, like, it's not just the guy that I did it to, and then you fly away somewhere, and then engage in a battle, and then go back to the route where you flew away from the encounter? You'll get a Pokemon based on the special stat of the Pokemon you defeated in the battle. Don't ask me how it works, 
or why it works. I just know that Mew shows up because of the specific number of the special stat of that Slowpoke we fought. Now, you might be asking yourself, why are you trying to catch a Legendary when you only have, like, 12 Pokeballs? Anyways, one of these is gonna work. See? I actually didn't expect it to show up. Anyways. Mew! New species. When viewed through a microscope, this Pokemon's short, fine, delicate hair can be seen. Alright. So it's the ancestor of all Pokemon. Unless we count Arceus, because Arceus is the creator of the world and everything, and he's God. So what do we nickname Mew? It's the ancestor of everything. I don't, I don't know. It kind of looks like a cell, doesn't it? Like, isn't that Mew's design? Like, it, doesn't it look like an embryo in some of its earlier art? I want to name it after the only embryo I know. Sure. We'll go with that. Not actually one of the most well-thought-out nicknames I have, but it's something. Anyways, let's go into a dead person tower. Oh, hey! What are you doing here, Mr. Green Brigand? Let's lead with Dr. Pig. Let's not do that, because you lead with Firo. Hey there, punk! Yeah, my Pokemon really don't look that dead, no. Listen, buddy, I just caught the ancestor of all Pokemon. What are you going to do? Level 25 Firo have an ass. Hit him with a Thunderbolt! Got him. GG's, Lamau. What else you got? A sh- Shelter, why would you- Why would that be the next thing you send out against an electric type? What- Why is that what you're going for? I don't- I don't understand. Vulpix? Why would you send that out against me? I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna KO it. Why did you think that was a good idea? Mr. Brigand. Dumbass. Oh, a Sandshrew! Wow, you waited this long to send out Sandshrew. Alright. Let's try and get Dr. Pig out here. Low kick. Dr. Pig, please. I am literally begging you. Stop missing. Thank you. It is greatly appreciated. Eevee? Well, only one thing to do. Kick the shit out of it. Kick the shit out of it in a moment. And get critted. As has been the case for, like, fucking everything here. Alright, Green Burr. You stinker. What an insult. He's got a Cubone. Well, then why did you use it? Also, if you want to go trade it to a man, he gives you a Machamp for absolutely free. Ugh, don't think he heard me. Looks like Machamp Gary Oak will not be a thing in the future. Let's go. Let's go to the shop here, because I, uh... I need to acquire more balls. Yeah, g g great ball, sure. 20 of them. Perfect. And then we will go heal on up at the Pokemon Center. And we'll call the episode there. Thank you guys very much for watching. Um, we caught Mew. And that was really cool. Yeah. See you next time.
Mew! It can do anything. Mew's gimmick is that it gets every single TM and HM in the game. You could teach it anything. Wanna give it, like, fissure and horn drill for some dumb one-hit KO stuff? You can do it. Wanna give it all physical moves and make it a physical sweeper? You can do that. Wanna give it all special moves? You get the picture. Mew is very good. With base 100 and everything, there's nothing it's not good at. But the nature of this kind of Pokemon is there's nothing it's amazing at either. If you want a fast special attacker, Gengar and Alakazam are actually better than Mew. If you want a strong physical attacker, Rhydon and Machamp hit harder. It's definitely fun to use, and it also gets transformed for some fucking reason, so you can play around with that much better than Ditto can. It's definitely a good Mon, but it is the mantra of Jack of All Trades, Master of None. Hey, I have a Patreon, and if you want to give me money and help support the channel, I'd really appreciate it. Link's in the description. I also have a Discord server, so you can be cool there too. Alright, time for the end of the episode, meme. I know that's why you're here.